Good morning, good morning, good morning. Have you been looking for me? Well, guess what? You found me in the kitchen with Angela, Creole Roots. I'm here, I'm in the house, I'm in my kitchen. So thank you for joining me on my channel. I am doing, again, you know, all things New Orleans. That's right, all things New Orleans. I'm doing a spaghetti casserole with Sunday. And I wanted to do some spaghetti casserole. I mean, it's a lot of people do it, you know. I'm going to do several different meats in my uh, spaghetti casserole. So I'm starting off with some... See? Ground meat. Okay. And I'm going to be using a Zatarain's product. And Dewey sausage. And their smoked sausage. I'm doing a Cajun. Smoked sausage. And the Andouille sausage. And it's right here. I already pre-cut it up. You know how I am. I like to always cut up my meats. And I'm going to have some chicken. So it's going to be like combination. Okay. So there you have it. I'm going to start by, uh, I'm going to start off with my meat. One moment. <clears throat> okay. I, I like to add a little bit water in my pot. Okay. For my ground meat. And I'm going to be using all this ground meat too all of it so i want my pasta to have a good bit of, good bit of meat in there so i start off by cooking my pasta I already have my oven preheated to 350 okay and because it's a casserole so we're gonna start off by cooking down our ground meat and it's on high so once that cooks down then I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. So the reason why I like to add a little bit water, it gets rid of the greasy fat from the, the smoked the, the, uh, meat, okay? So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I want you to see what I'm doing. Don't watch me watch the food, right? So, let's see. I'm starting off by cooking down my ground meat. <clears throat> no, I haven't seasoned it yet because I'm going to drain it off. I want to make sure there's not that greasy hamburger, you know, residue on my meat. So, I use a little bit water. And then I drain it off and then I'll put it to the side, pull this out of the pot, put it to the side. Then I'll start off with my uh, chicken. Okay. Just getting some containers ready so I can put that in there once this drains off. I'll put the ground meat to the side in this bowl. Okay. And it's real easy. Very quick. I just want to get that cooked up and now I'll drain it off okay let me get my colander <coughs> and if my voice sounds a little funny you know what's going on it's the season of allergies so I'm gonna go ahead and drain this off Now that we've drained that off, 
Then I'm going to add some olive oil. For my chicken pieces. Okay. Going to add some Creole seasoning. For my chicken pieces. Just a little bit. Give me a fork. Add a little butter and olive oil mixture. <clears throat> to my pan. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. Chopped up chicken, you guys. Okay. Then I'm going to move back to the side while I'm letting my chicken cook. It's not much chicken because I don't really prefer too much chicken in my, my dish, but it's enough to help out. <laughs> So I drained off my meat, you guys. Here it is. Nice and cooked. Okay. So. I added my chicken in. Just sauteed my chicken, you guys. And it's really quick. There's my chicken, you guys. See that? Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my smoked sausage. <clears throat> so I use that ranch today. Smoked sausage and andouille sausage, okay? I'm going to let this cook. This smoked sausage is already cooked, you guys. But I'm adding it in just to give it that little bite. Get a little crust on it. And this is our version of some kind of Italian dish, okay? So I'm going to add my vegetables, of course. You know what I use, the Holy Trinity. And if you don't know what the Holy Trinity is, New Orleans people call bell pepper, onion, celery, the Holy Trinity. Okay, it brings every dish together. And it's really good. It just tastes good. It makes the... It makes the dish have that extra. You need seasoning when you're cooking, you know? So, I'm going to, of course, add my garlic. I love garlic, so I'm using two tablespoons. I already pre-boiled my pasta. It's spaghetti noodles. Like I said, this is going to be spaghetti. It was already pre-boiled, okay? So I have my bell pepper, onion, and celery in here. It calms down the pot too. Once you put the, once you cook the meat down, and you add the uh, the vegetables, it actually calms down the hot pot. So here it is. I'm using a couple of bay leaf, about three, okay. And once the vegetables become a little translucent, I could go ahead and add the other meat back in. Okay, so this is combination. I'm doing almost four meats, you guys. So it's chicken, smoked sausage, ground meat, and I'm doing sausage in my pasta. I 
I don't know how you make yours, but this is how I do mine. All things New Orleans. I'm adding some thyme in here. I'm out of that. I got to buy more. Okay, then I'm adding Italian seasoning. And I'm adding oregano. It's good, good. I'm telling you, it's good, good. And you know I have to have my parsley flakes. So, of course, that's about a fourth of a cup of parsley flakes. I love parsley. I love vegetables, really. So, I'm just getting all my meats blended together. And, of course, you know I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. About an eighth of a teaspoon, not much, okay? And then I'm gonna add some black pepper. I gotta open up my black pepper. And that's about an eighth of a teaspoon as well. Yes, I'm gonna be adding some saffron, you guys. That's what I like, that's what I'm doing. Saffron is so potent, it's good, you don't need much, it's very expensive. So that was a little pinch of saffron. I'm going to be adding some McCormick uh, Zesty, Thick and Zesty Spaghetti Sauce. It's like um, the herbs and stuff. Not the whole pack. Just about... A, a tablespoon or so so it's looking good you guys then I'm gonna go ahead and add some some a little bit accent to my pot I'm gonna be adding some Rotel Chili, you see, you see that, you guys? Okay, I'm going to add this whole can. It's season two. Okay. <clears throat> now that I got that going, of course, I'm using some tomato paste, okay? This is a six ounces, okay? Then I'm gonna be adding some chinto, tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some chicken broth. And this is like a cup. This is the kind I use, okay? Cook together. And you know what I gotta add to break out the tautness. Gonna add a couple of teaspoons, close up to a tablespoon of sugar. Okay? So that helps with the acidity flavor. And it also sweet and salty. Added together is a great combination. It really is. And I'm going to turn the fire down. I had it on high. Once it comes to a ball, then you want to lower it. And of course, you know, I have to add my Tony Saturé season, seasoning. So 
gonna go ahead and add that. So you know I like butter and olive oil. That's always the start of my base when I'm cooking and sauteing. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste this and see if I need to add a little more seasoning. And then we can get it assembled, okay? I like that, but I think it needs a little more sugar because it's rich. And I think I'm gonna hit it with a splash of cooking wine. Yeah, get splash of cooking wine. This is the cooking wine I'm using, okay? And red wine. <clears throat> And I want to add a little bit more Creole seasoning. Okay, so there you have it. This is my spaghetti sauce that I've made from scratch. All things New Orleans. If you like what I do on my channel, of course you know what to do. Subscribe. You can invite others. Click the bell to be notified when I'm dropping new videos. Okay. Invite others to my channel. You can find me on Instagram. You can also find me on Facebook. I even have some things listed on Pinterest. And I'll be dropping down on Twitter soon. Okay. So here is my sauce. We're going to try it one more time to see if I'm liking the taste. And that's it. So I like it. I'm turning this off. I'm gonna pull a bay leaf out. Okay, you don't really need that in there after it's cooked down. I always like to add my bay leaf first when I'm cooking down my meats and stuff because it gives off that great aroma and it leaves that flavor in there that you're looking for. Okay, but you don't have to leave it in there, okay? Mm, those leaves are not really edible, and when you bite into them, they become very bitter. They're just for flavoring, okay? So, I'm going to spray my pan. I have my baking pan here. I'm going to spray it with a little bacon spray. And then I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and add my pasta in. Remember, this was pre cooked. I'm just loosening it up. And we're gonna get this in the pan. I'm gonna add some cheese in here. And then I'm going to add, you know, more cheese, of course. I'm at the end with this. I love to add Parmesan cheese to any pasta. It's really good. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little of my yellow. It's mild cheddar. Just a little bit, but I'm going to add some more cheese on top, okay? The more cheese, the better. I'm 
Okay, so I'm gonna start adding in. I have my big ladle right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. You don't want your pasta to be dry, you know? You don't want it dry. I like to meal prep during the week. Weekends for the week. I'm gonna get this stirred in. My son asked me for this, but mainly when someone asked me for something, I try to do it to the best of my ability. They usually are happy with the outcome. So I can't complain because they don't complain. I learned cooking skills from my mom and aunts, grandmother. They were one of, they were some of the best women in New Orleans. Creole women, they knew how to cook, knew how to burn. And I just appreciate me being in the kitchen with them, learning from a little girl, you know. You had a responsibility. Everybody had a responsibility. And I just love being in the kitchen with my mom and aunts, watching them fuss and stuff, and then laughing at each other after they finished fussing with each other. It was great growing up as a kid in New Orleans. Family is amazing. My family for sure is amazing. I couldn't ask for better aunts and uncles, cousins. It's a great thing to have a good family-based unit. So I'm using all this, and this is gonna go in the oven on 350. And you know you're gonna see the finishing touches I'm gonna probably leave it on for about 30 minutes until it's golden brown, okay? So this is my casserole, the spaghetti. Okay, so that was my mozzarella cheese. And I'm adding some mild cheddar cheese. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on a pan because of spillovers. I'm going to put it on a pan because I don't want the spillover into the oven. So, there you have it. I'm going to put that in the oven, like I said, on 350. I'm going to start off by chopping it with foil. I'm going to spray my foil so that the cheese won't stick. And then we'll uncover it. Okay. I got my baking sheet right here. I'm gonna take the baking sheet Put it in the oven so if there's a spillover, it'll fall on the baking sheet. So I'm putting this in the oven for about a half an hour. I'll get back to you to let you see the finishing touches. Like I said, 
All things New Orleans, you're in the kitchen with Angela. I'm Creole Roots. So hold on. We'll be back. Hey, you guys, it's been about 30 minutes. Okay. I'm going to pull my casserole out the oven. So you can see the finishing touches. And here it is, you guys. My spaghetti casserole. Okay. So if you like what I'm doing here on my channel, you can go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified for when my other videos drop. Invite others to my channel. You can comment if you want. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. This is In the Kitchen with Angela Creole Roots. All things New Orleans. Bye.